2023 and I'm headed out to Pensacola Beach to meet Jimmy and Ty and I guess Teresa is going to be there and this motorcycler back there is like right on my butt. I don't know if you can see him. I hate when people do that. But um, especially when you got like a 14 foot kayak in the back. Yeah, the sun's just starting to come up. I guess I'm a little late. I don't know. But I figured, oh well, I want to take my yellow kayak out. Only taking two rods, no anchor. Big, that's probably a mistake. I just wanted to keep it simple today. So we'll see how it goes. Almost there. Guy goes to the toll booth. Got my money ready. It's a buck. One dollar. It's gone from like 15 cents to 30 cents to 35 cents to 50 cents to one dollar. I think they paid for this bridge a long time ago. There's like two things you need on Pensacola Beach. You need the pass to come on the beach, which I haven't gotten because they were switching to the Sun Pass. And then there's the Fort Pickens Pass. You need that one, the National Park Pass. Just so you can get the full aspect of all the beaches. I lost a big fish on one of those uh, buoys out there, one of those little pole pilings. Last year, we did war and I lost. Gotta pay the tow lady. Gotta pay the toll lady. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. It was a toll guy. Sorry. Never fear. Looks slick calm out there. Slick calm. 30 miles out. Car and crew. Scoping on them. I can see them out there fishing. Also, I'm doing a terrible job parking. Check it out. It's the view of the sunrise. And I got the yellow kayak today. I feel like everybody's forgetting that kayaking is for exercise. So I skipped the gym yesterday. Kids are learning early. PT sunrise, you know? So yesterday everybody was blowing me up for not having beach wheels. You know, sometimes you gotta keep it simple. And a lot of times I take even my paddle kayak out to keep it simple and to not take so much stuff with me. I, I don't always take it the easy way out. Sometimes it's good to get out here and struggle a little bit. I didn't think it was that big of a deal that I was dragging. Even though it was tough, we got a lot of good workout in. Like two days worth of workout. So it wasn't too bad. But one of the first rules of kayak fishing is don't spend a lot of money. And I got this thing for like 300 bucks. So I'm, I, when I was watching Zofinger the other day and he's saying he was going back to keeping it simple and keeping it cheap. And he had the, his, his uh, new DIYs on his kayak. I realized I kind of need to go back and get it simple. So I always carry three lures with me. A top water, a mid, you know, mid, run, mid level runner, middle of the water collar runner, like a swim bait, and then a jig. And then I always got a gotcha plug for Spanish. And if I'm tarping, I'll have some kind of big swim bait. But other than that, that's it. And if I can't catch it on those three baits, then it's time to wrap it up and go home. So they're not hungry. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and just have fun, guys. Like, don't worry about all. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. I see some bait blowing up. But back to what I was saying is I'm trying to keep it simple and just have fun with it not take so much stuff because that's when it gets terrible and actually this quest is faster in my outback and i can stand in it pretty well you tell jimmy to hurry up he's holding the whole show up jimmy's got a redfish Woo! i just spooked one right here I think they're blitzing through here. Jimmy just caught a redfish over there. Solid redfish. We'll get pictures later because he's on the other side. Oh yeah, gulping it out, baby. Gulping it out. I think it's a little redfish. Oh yeah, a little runt red. Woo! 
stick the jig head in my head hand. Woo, 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 woo. Nope. Got me a nice red fish. He's not legal though, so he's got to go back. He's got to go back. Run far, far away. Far, far away. There he goes. Good fish. Good fish, even though he's little. Hopefully he grows up to be a 40 or 50 incher. Fish on, fish on. I don't know what it is. I think it's small, whatever it is. Oh, it's the ugliest looking fish I've ever seen. What is that? Is that like a dragon fish or something? Look at this thing. What is this thing? I'm sure somebody on YouTube knows what it is. This has got to be one of the weirdest, ugliest fish I've ever caught. I'm gonna put gloves on for this one. This one calls for gloves. I don't even want to put him in the kayak. He's ugly looking. Ugh. True story. One time I caught a little catfish, one of those hardheads, and he flipped sideways like that when I was getting him off, and he stuck through my hand. Went all the way through my hand, and he was like maybe seven or eight inches long. And then while I was fighting with him, while I was keeping him from flipping more with him stuck in my hand, his, his top fin went in my leg right here. And then I had to hold the whole fish like this and with my hand stuck to him, with my other, the other fin stuck to my leg at 2 o'clock in the morning under the 3 mile bridge. So now, from now on I wear gloves, I use everything I got to not get fish fins stuck in my hand because those hard headed catfish have a serrated fin on them and it has like a, I don't know if it's a toxin or a poison that makes it hurt really bad. So word to the wise, don't mess around with hardhead catfish. Because I almost had to call the Coast Guard that night if it wasn't for Rob to come over and cut the fins off so I could paddle. So I couldn't go anywhere because he was stuck to me. Awful experience. So when in doubt, glove it out. John, it's a lizard and it's caught around his throat. Look at this, he's like noosed up look at it like noosed steam. two trash fish in a row that was one of those like i call them lizard fish i don't know what you actually call them catch them all the time on these gulps put my life vest on for that one because i thought i might go for a swim when you get tangled up is when you go for swims jimmy frugal physio over there is slaying the redfish and like nine lizard fish and two dragon llama fish, or whatever you call them damn things. He's on fire. And he's hung up on the dock. Right now he's caught a two-ton wooden dock. He is hooked up to a two-ton wooden dock right now. Two four-by-fours and an eight-by-eight. Eight. Jimmy is hooked up. Let me slick and just anchor up to this nice pole the city of Pensacola left out here. It's working really good, but some fish just cut my gulp in half. Check this out. I mean, what kind of fish just wants to go and cut a dude's gulp in half? You know, these things are expensive. Never fear, I will persevere. It's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. I'm hooked up and I'm hooked to a rock. Well, I set the hook on a rock and then I got a fish in the meanwhile. I don't know how. There's a fish on one end and I'm hooked up to a rock. Now the trick is, is not to flip over while you're fighting the rock. Well, I'm hooked to a line that's hooked to another line that's hooked to another line, which I think's hooked to a fish. Oh, well, this is nasty. Well, I got me a free weight. I set the hook. All I came up with was somebody's tackle. But I thought there was a fish on it, but I got a free weight. Looks like a half ounce weight. Check it out. Saving the environment piece by piece. Another gulp shrimp killed in action. Check the dolphins out. I think those are porpoises, aren't they? It is rougher on this side. A fish, I got a rock. Come on. Aha! Haha! <laughs> I got it back. You gotta fight it. You gotta fight. For the right to get your dog on bait back. That's right. Look at that. 
and just stuck my rod down there until it popped back out. Jimmy's up there slaying the pinfish. Back through the tunnel we go. Real shallow right here. Check it out. Check what I got going on. I'm just like creeping it. My feet in the water and I'm going to throw top waters all the way back because the current is taking me straight back to where I launched from. So I'm just going to sit like this with my feet in the water, let the current float me all the way back home and throw on this grass flat. And hopefully we run into a fish by the time we get to the bridge. Take me a, a water break. Yeah, it's a nice little sandy area, no trash. I tell you what, this quest is not a bad kayak. Like if you're a big, if you use a, like an Outback and then you get in this thing, you're gonna be freaked out at first, and you're gonna be like, "Wow, this is kind of rickety." But the more you stay in it, you realize it's not gonna flip. And I sit on the side of it a lot in the shallow in the shallow water, and it's just fine. And I've stood up in it, and I'm six foot, like 200 pounds, and I can stand up in this thing on a calm day and push pull it like a paddleboard. And I'll tell you this, it's fast. This thing will smoke my outback. And in the big water and paddling a kayak, that's that's a big deal is, is having a little swiftness, you know. And I fought kings out of this, as you can see in some of my videos. And this is a 2006 model. These things retail for like 1200 bucks. I got it for $300. Steal of a deal. I was really proud of that. Really proud, guys. Came, even came with a cart and an extra paddle. So this, is, this was basically an untouched kayak 2006 model that I put into action and it's out here catching fish and it's light. I like it for these shallow water conditions because my outback gets stumped on the bottom. Fish and I got my, turned my Hobie into a pedal drive. Check it out. <laughs> it actually kind of works. Side saddle paddling. Side saddle paddling. up the cool down process and we're heading back. At least we got the wind behind us. Get some! Get some! I feel like one of those Hawaiian paddlers. It's like right where it meets the uh, right where it meets the shallow water. <laughs> Punch the surf! Punch it! Back, back, back. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's like picking me up in the back. Woo! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! It's literally like pushing me. Incoming! Woo! Woo! Whoa! That was like riding a big wave. Did it like pick you up in the back? I was like, woo! <laughs> It felt just like I was coming through the break. That was wild. It was like surfing through the break. I like picked the back end of the kayak up. I had to paddle through it harshly. Just get ah! Made it. Saving the environment again. Trash everywhere. Picked up fish line today. Picked up plastic bags. Check it out. All right. I want you to look at this guy right here. He's the guy at the boat ramp, putting in the jet ski. Can you see it? He's putting in the jet ski. 
he has like put his entire back end of that brand new car in the salt water like back wheel he had even further before i put the camera on it like the entire all the way up to almost the back hatch was submerged in salt water trying to put that uh jet ski in there like that that frame's gonna last like no time sorry if you're watching it and that's you but that's gonna eat up the entire wheel well and yeah just don't do that it's not good salt water eats and kills everything it touches and he's got his whole back hatch in the boat ramp the end of a great day great day of fishing we caught three redfish a couple of, you know probably caught about 10 trash fish I forget the total I totally forget by now but we're headed home I'm headed home over to the Bob Sites Bridge this is the Bob Sites Bridge it's in like every one of my videos and that's the Grand Marlin good place but really expensive to eat and uh, this is the toll bridge so it was a good day we had a lot of fun followed a lot of miles probably did like three or four miles had to get my exercise in that's why I brought the yellow kayak I'm really getting to where I like it you know it's good for the flats and stuff and it's a cheap selection so yeah hope you enjoyed this one I'll see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe Follow me on Yak Molly on Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and JLM2323-232310 on Snapchat. And I'll see you guys later.